Hi guys, welcome back to another reaction video. So in this video, I'm going to react to a guide to 80s. I actually feel like I don't really need to watch any more guides because I already know a lot of prep of the members. But uh, a lot of you guys also recommended me this, so I'm going to watch this. Uh, this is a helpful guide to standing 80s by E. Ethini, is that how we call her channel? But I'm going to link the original video in the description box down below. If you want to check it out, please do. So actually this video is a 42 minute video, so I'm going to cut it into parts for the ease of uploading. And yeah, I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to call it a part 1 to reaction to a helpful guide, helpful guide to standing 80s. So let's start. I just want to say that this is my first YouTube video ever. Normally, I would be too lazy to put together an entire guide for standing 80s. But, after looking at some of the popular guides on here, I noticed a lot of them are outdated or somewhat inaccurate. You see. A lot of these videos portray 80s in a very one-dimensional manner. Not only do I feel like these insulting the beautiful personalities before they have, but I also feel like But onto the video. Okay, okay. <laughs> I actually rarely get into a group like this, especially 80s. I didn't. I never expected myself to be a really great fan of them. And it's all th thanks to starting this channel. Now, I know like, everyone is here for the part of the guys video that helps you learn more about the members. 80s. Trust me, we'll get to that. But first, I want to spend a few minutes telling you some basic facts about 80s. ATEEZ is a K-pop boy group under the record label and entertainment agency KQ Entertainment. The group has eight members. Hong Jung, Song Hwa, Yoon Ho, Yo Song, Son, oh Min Bi, Uyung, and Jong Ho. And, by the way, the number eight is kind of a big deal with ATEEZ. <laughs> ATEEZ debuted on October 24, 2018. This would make them one of the many groups who began what is known as K-pop's fourth generation. I'm kind of curious why fourth generation is counted called from the year 2018. The like, shouldn't it be like the name was based announced on, on November 17, 2018. <laughs> that date is pretty important to ATEEZ and ATEEZ. I thought they will be like considered as third generation because it's still in the year between 20, 2010 and 2020. That date is Repeat. Very important to ATEEZ and ATEEZ. I haven't actually watched One of that stage. Strengths is their live performances. True. ATEEZ is highly praised among fans, critics, and seniors for their stage presence. Yes. Seriously, the best part true. of being an ATEEZ is that the stages are never boring. Joe is definitely one of the best vocalists ever. In Korea, ATEEZ is known as the global K-pop group. This is due to the really? unique situation they're in with fan demographics. Basically, really? ATEEZ became popular among international audiences early on in their career. They even sold out an entire world tour just four months after debut. No one is sure why ATEEZ's popularity formed that way, but many people think it's rooted back to the very first moments of ATEEZ's career. I and definitely uh, heard... Wait, I definitely heard their names like earlier in 2000 uh, earlier from the debut I mean like how they were able to sold out to sell out a, a concert tour but I never really bothered to check them out and I don't know why but I definitely Videos. can get why they're definitely really great performers This would be a good time to mention a bit of ATEEZ's backstory. 
갈래? 가자! 난 모르겠다! 난 간다! 가자! 파이팅! 1480s, the group was called KQ Fellas, after the name of their entertainment agency, KQ Entertainment. In early 2018, KQ Fellas were sent to Los Angeles to train and prepare for debut. The entire experience was recorded and made into a series called KQ Fellas. The series mm. follows the creation of the song from, which is a fan favorite among 18e. But, back to what I was saying. Their training in LA gave 80s an affinity for a hip-hop style, which appealed to international audiences. Mm, and, okay. in May of 2018, KQ There's definitely a lot of facts that I didn't dance know. Dance performance though. videos by the group, making it the first AT's content ever shown to the world. The videos went viral on platforms like K pop Twitter. It really gave AT's career a jump start. Yeah, that's a fact. Hit his ass to the police. Wonder where I'm at. Make so much money off this goddamn song. Still get in your ass like a goddamn phone. Oh, baby, you're a big storyline attached to their music video. Oh, yes, please explain. explain. And then again, everything anyone says is only a theory. It's really smart of them to not release the official story. Like, because a lot of fans can actually share their own theories about this storyline and make their own assumptions, create more publicity somehow. A lot more people will be talking about it. But I kind of want to know what the official storyline behind them is, behind all of this. So, I think this video would be better off if I just said that it's pretty intense, and a lot of H&E love piecing together what's going on. I don't. <laughs> Wait, concept is pirates? That should be pretty obvious if you see it here. Most dance are aware, unaware of this, okay. Pirates. Okay, now that you know some basic facts about ATs, it's Just time for you sure to that learn I'm about the members. Yes. Before I tell you about each specific person, there are a few things you should know about the group as a whole. There's a relatively small age range in ATs, yes. two and a half years in between the eldest and youngest members. Yes, this means that there's true. no clearly defined baby or mature one of the group, <laughs> and many members will switch into those roles depending on which of the others they're around. <laughs> ATs is also very affectionate with each other. Very, yeah, that is true. Yes. They're really not afraid to show affection for each other. But. Right. Oh my god. I just was going to include this part in the video, but it's really something that needs to be addressed to new fans so that this behavior can become less normalized. Do not use 80s affection for one another as an excuse to hypersexualize their relationships. Please allow 80s to be loving without misinterpreting. Misrepresenting their actions as anything more than it was intended to be. So that way, neither 80s or nor gay 80s are. Made to feel un uncomfortable, please. Well, I believe I never did so, so yeah. Another don't do thing that. about ATs is that they're very competitive. Of course, most idol groups are. But I don't think I can stress just how competitive these boys are. On multiple occasions, variety shows had to end the episode early because ATs completed the game so quickly. Oh, it's really? also worth mentioning that. For a period of time, the Mafia game got banned in their dorms because they stopped sleeping and one member almost choked another. Really? <laughs> and, of course, what gets most people to stan ATs is their relationship with Aitani. Can we play rock, paper, scissors? Can we play rock, paper, scissors? Oh! Oh! <laughs> 
This live video definitely won't do them justice, but I cannot stress how lovable these boys are. They treat a e less like fans and more like friends. <laughs> so, now that all of that is covered, you've finally arrived at that the That is so cute, it makes me to want for. to really meet them Let's in real life. Let's get to know each member of ATs. <laughs> is anybody? I want to meet ATs. Hung Jung was the first of ATs to join KQ Entertainment. He joined with a deep love for creating music, and his goal was to become a successful idol who writes his own music. Mm. Hung Jung created over 40 songs before debuting. He writes for every ATs song, and he composed numerous tracks, all of which are fan favorites. I don't know if I will be able to uh, post the audios without getting copyright. Let's see later. He likes older music and has said he looks up to icons like David Bowie and Michael Jackson. Reminded me of Dreamcatchers Black Hung or White. Jung also has the most fun stage presence I've ever seen on an idol. You seriously feel entertained when you watch him on stage. <laughs> Hung Jung really enjoys reforming clothes and accessories. Okay. Oh. He's really creative. He's a creative person, I believe. Oh, that's and a lot he of creation. recently said that if he wasn't an idol, he would work in the fashion industry. I can see that somehow. I can't see that. Like, he Hung likes Jung to try a lot of new things, especially with justice. his hairstyles. Early on in ATS's career, he began painting his nail in participation with the Polished Man campaign, which seeks to eliminate child abuse. Oh. Last month, ATs were named ambassadors of the campaign. Oh. The most important thing to know about Hung Jung is that he has the type of personality that makes you feel like you've been best friends with him for years. You can see the passion in his eyes when he talks about the things he loves. And he cares deeply for every a &E, and goes out of his way to make sure all fans feel like they belong in the fandom. Mm, that is so sweet. The first thing you should know about Songhua is that his on-stage persona is misleading to understanding what he is like as a yeah. person. I think every one of them is like that. By his killer performance skills, but that dark presence you see on stage is the complete opposite to his actual personality. Songhua is a very soft and delicate person, and he takes on a loving and nurturing role among ATs. Multiple of the other oh my members God. have said that they this go to him whenever they love them even more. To be honest, describing what Songhua is like is kind of difficult. <laughs> I've never seen an idol with his personality. He tends to never push himself to be the center of attention, but rather <gasps> shapes himself to make those he's around the most happy. Aww. Song Hwa is known among fans to be the most aware of a &E culture. Really? On multiple occasions, fans have recommended makeup and styling on Song Hwa, and, a month later, we'd see that exact thing on him. Oh, he has I also see. directly referenced fans' tweets multiple times. So he does check the fans' tweets. <laughs> Oh, 
그 뭐지? 어제 서칭을 좀 많이 했었어요 사실 그래가지고 그.. 그.. 이렇게.. 좀 왜? 좀 많이 망한데 이렇게 내려가는 것들만 모아서 영상을 만들어 주셨어요 <웃음> It's so good! He is also known to be a big fan of K-pop girl groups oh, and is yes, highly praised among fans for respectfully covering choreography done by female artists Oh. oh, them gays! Hey. Is the song too quick or something? Oh my god! He auditioned to KQ Entertainment as a rapper, performing a verse he wrote himself. Really? Instead, though, Song Hwa joined ATs as a vocalist. Oh, it's Galaxy by Wolfgang Satsuki. Song Hwa and Hung Jung are very close, so much to the point where they claim each other as their only idol friend. <laughs> Although it is clear that they care deeply for one another, they tend to tease each other a lot. Hung Jung is a kind of a love song, like a dress and 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 like a dress it's also worth mentioning that Hung Jung wrote A.T.'s a song, Thank You, about Song Hwa. Oh, that's the backstory? That is so cute! Oh, my baby! We love you! My As I briefly mentioned earlier, Yun Ho is a standout dancer. His talents were obvious since he was still a trainee, and they have only developed and improved over time. I've watched this off camera. I've actually never reacted to the video as a whole. The other members have said that he picks up the technicalities of choreographies almost instantaneously. He has the natural ability to match the beat of the rhythms he's dancing to, and his movements are always exact and precise. He has experience with creating and developing choreography since pre-debut, and he helps the other members with learning the choreography when he's ahead. Ooh. He's so tall compared to the guy next to him. Oh, boy! And oh. this tends to be understated by Aitani, but Yun Ho is also an amazing vocalist. I definitely recognize that from him. Legendary fan cam. Oh my god, so good! And if you think that I'm line is made for him, Yun Ho is pretty much a perfect person. Just know that every other AT's member is as whipped for him as fans are. Um. Ah, really? Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely standing here, my guy. Also, don't let a six-foot height fool you. <laughs> Yunho is a giant baby and the sweetest person in the entire universe. 
The best way to describe Yun Ho is that he's a constant source of unconditional positive energy. He says that he wants to be a vitamin for Aitini, and he's really that. Oh my god. And also... <laughs> I've never really checked out the uh, individual content. Yun Ho is the host slash anchor slash interviewer slash correspondent slash reporter for A News. A News is the most reliable news source in modern media, so make sure to check those videos out. Okay, I'll definitely remember to watch their individual content. If you guys have any link to the playlist event, please let me know so that I can watch them in order. If you're trying to figure out which part of AT's songs are sung by Yo Song, listen for the vocals that sound like warm vanilla sugar honey maple syrup cotton candy sweetness. <laughs> okay. Everything sweet. His voice is really deep. God. Why don't we ever get him singing? And I know lines? I would probably say this for every AT's member, but it really should be stressed. Yo Song is also a standout performer. That is definitely really good. But I guess it's never really... Wow. Wow, so precise and sharp. Ooh. Ooh, he's definitely doing every move. I was going to see. <laughs> he's tired. Not to mention, he's also I the think prettiest the reason boy I've ever seen in my entire life. Never stand out for like other members. And if he gets covered him with because, makeup, uh, but no his song has the mark ever. Flat. But I definitely with his Yo improving, tends to have a more reserved and introverted a lot personality. More better. And the other members have described him as a pure and innocent person, saying that he doesn't have the capabilities to hurt someone else. Yeah, he looks like that. He looks like someone who. But is at very the same funny. time, most fans agree that he is, by far, the funniest member. Nihono <laughs> Hozato. <laughs> oh my god, actually, it's... Oh, okay, I've finished this clip. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to stop there for part one. So I'm going to uh, continue with the next part after this. Right after this, of course. So yeah, guys, uh, let's continue to the next part. See you later. Bye.